from Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one, Andrew Abbott. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. That we'll miss, see what he's got ball. in this one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. But I really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Got him! And one out now. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up, and... It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Here's a 1-1. Fouled off left side. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Got it by him for the K. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here with my pal Siggy, our starting pitcher in this one, Dakota Hudson. What do you have on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Riding to the plate, and that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now, Ellie De La Cruz. India on at first, nobody out. Way inside, gets out of the way. Here comes a pinch. Wouldn't Got chase that ball. time. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Oh. 
two down, nobody on. And ball. another ball. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. On the ground to the left, that and that's just foul. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Zips it across, third out. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. New inning getting started, and now it's Elias Diaz. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so nope. reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's oh. arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. Payoff pitch. Base hit, left center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Two two. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And here it comes. Got him swinging. And there's two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now here's Nolan Jones. Here's a one-two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Two outs. And ball. another ball. Two and no two. score here in the second. Bounce to the right side. And that is the inning. So one left for Colorado. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. And the right-hander deals. That one drifts inside. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. The 
the pitch. Check yeah. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One, two. Steer gets his lead at first with nobody out. And yeah, that's two, outside. Two. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, bro, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each. Makes the catch one down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the rookie third baseman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. Righty delivers and it's ball four he missed down low. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone for him in the past. Now even if they get out of this jam. He wants to add pressure and stress to the entire team. Yeah, the batter now. Stuart Fairchild. Bounce to the left side. And it's just foul. That was close. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. Here's a rocket to right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Reds strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Here at Great American Ballpark, on to the third inning. Here's Jake Cave now. That's a strike. And a count, one and two. And another ball. Misses. And the count's full. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Got a nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Now it's going to be Aaron Shunk. Next offering is foul back. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. This ball's chopped on the ground. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rockies. Still no score. As we go to the last of the third and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Blake Dunn. The wide to kick the pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. And a seed into center, that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Jonathan India at the plate. 
Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And the righty deals. At the belt and fires. Run around the move. Throw to second, and he's out. That's just a perfect catch and throw right there. You get a guy with that kind of speed trying to take second. He's got such a good arm back there, but that had to be on the money. Pressure situation, if you will, right on top of it. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Kicks and deals. That's a base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And another ball. Wouldn't no, chase that down. time. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly. And a strike down to second base to end the inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. With all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. High fly ball out of the left center field. And he makes the catch. Then there's one down. Now Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Just no, off the out. outside edge, and it's two and one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, the throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's sticking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to... A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Cincinnati, and here's the first baseman, Jamer Candelario. Jamer 
Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One and two. Next pitch Ball. misses inside, and the count is two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That misses, and it's three and two. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And a pitch. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one the other way. And a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a run. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now it's going to be number 16. This one in the air right field. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now Fairchild. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. Steer at third. Stevenson at first. Two out of the inning. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Too low, ball four, and he's walked another. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now, Santiago Espinal. Base is loaded, two down. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to Tolia. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So three left for Cincinnati, and we are still scoreless. Ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. That one in for a strike, two and two. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. This pitch me well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. Two and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again.
Here's a 2 2. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Say goodbye to that one. He circles the bases. Home run number 10 of the year. And they lead it. It's 2 0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. The great pitchers are able to tease the outside part of the zone with the breaking ball. That means that it looks like it's going to be a strike, but finishes off the plate. Well, that one finished on the outer half, but caught just too much of the plate and hit for a home run. And now, Nolan Jones. The 1 1 is fouled off. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That's no, down that and is, in. That's a ball. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Nick two Martinez balls, loosening up for manager David Bell. Farmer warming up as well. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top of the fifth. That count one four. misses. Full count now. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Next to hit for the Rockies, Jake Payne. Man at second. In the air, right field. Done. Makes the play. Runner tags at second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now that is Aaron Shun. Now it's the shortstop, Aaron Shunk. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Pulls that one foul. Here's the 2 2. Line drive to short and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. So the lineup flips oh, over. Really now it's Charlie Blackman. Left hand batter waits. A swing and a soft liner. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Cal Quantrill. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Blake Dunn, the next to hit for the Reds. The right fielder. Hit in the air, right field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number six, designated hitter. And now the designated Jonathan. hitter for the Reds, Jonathan India. India. One down, base is empty. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now batting, 
Digging in, Ellie De La Cruz. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They trail it here, 2 nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Nick Martinez. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So digging in, Brendan Rogers. The second baseman, Brendan Rogers. So now one and two. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Justin Wilson loosening up for manager David Bell. Up and oh. in, now two and two. Two, two. Out to short, De La Cruz. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One out, base is empty. Cuts out it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Up next for Colorado. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Swing and a miss. One and two. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. That's his second hit of the day. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Next to hit, Brenton Doyle. That's the third. They take the force out, and that will end the inning. So one hit is all they get. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Rockies 2 and the Reds nothing. And we're back. Bottom of the sixth inning. In now for the Reds, Jamer Candelario. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Inside almost got him. On the ground, right side. On to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a 1-2 again. 
Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put it on. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. And there's ball four. Ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And a pitch. This one popped up. Rogers has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for Cincinnati, and they're down 2 0. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Justin Wilson. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Here's Michael Tolia. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Stays alive. Got him looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. So up next, Nolan Jones. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. He goes down looking. And now here is Jake Cave. Jake Cave. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Still two and two after the foul ball. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. It's a one, two, three inning for the Rockies. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Victor Vodnik. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So digging in, Stuart Fairchild. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One and two. And another ball. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Hey. 
and down on strikes. And now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here comes a pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's going fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. So two down now, and here is Lake Dunn. The other way. And there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Pickoff throw. Done. Back in on a dive. Stepping in, Jonathan India. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Reds leave one. They're still down. It's two zip. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Buck Farmer. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Aaron Shunk digging in for the Rockies. Aaron Shunk. The shortstop takes the ball. And the 2 2. And they'll do it again. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. Good eye in that spot. On the ground. And foul ball. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Here's Chuck Nasty. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now, most hitters handle mid-90s no problem these days, but when a pitcher is effective at mixing up his pitches, changing speeds, adding and subtracting velocity, you can see a pitch of that velocity just jump past a hitter swing. Two down, nobody on. Just oh, off the it. inside edge. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Sam Mole, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Sims getting loose as well. In the air, right field. Done. Settles underneath it. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. Last half of the eighth coming up.
It's the Rockies two and the Reds nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Ty Block. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be in their toes with him on the bump. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. And that skips in the dirt. To third, McMahon. Sends it across the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now back, first baseman. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds. And he deals. Right side, hard hit. Rogers throws the first. And that quickly, two away. Now here is Spencer Steer. The Reds trailing by two near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Up the middle, Chunk sends it to first, and the Reds go one, two, three. Reds go down quietly. They trail things here, two nothing. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Lucas Sims. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man, and one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Ryan McMahon. Left-hand hitter waits. Hammer, base hit! And the leadoff man aboard. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against now a battle. firm front side, the and the hands oh, yeah. just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. The one two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Man at first. Now here is Brenton Doyle. There's a breaking ball that drops in there. In the air, right field. And it falls. Throw into third. In there safely. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Next for Colorado, Michael Tolia. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 
The Rockies trying to break this one open here at the top of the ninth. And that is cut on and missed. Down three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. One out, base is loaded. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. And here it comes. That's in there. And that's strike two. They call this batter a gamer because he always seems to perform better when it matters most. Who doesn't want a guy like that on your team? Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Jake Pay digging in for the Rockies. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Kicks and fires. <laughs> Two outs. Bases are full. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. They leave him loaded. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the night. It's the Rockies two and the Reds nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Tyler Kindley. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. The catcher. Tyler Stevenson. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. McMahon and fires over to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Now batting, third baseman, no LB, Marte. He's two outs away. Here's the third baseman. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Cincinnati making a move for a pinch hitter. Jake Fraley. He gets a chance with a runner in scoring position and one gone. The tying run at the plate. And he chases a high fastball there. One ball, two strikes. That's towards center. He's under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Now back, second baseman. Reds down to their final lap. Santiago Espinal will hit next. Tying run at the plate. Check oh. swing. Did he go? No. Oh, recognize that pitch just in time. Able to keep those hands back. Right side. And he grabs it. Foul.
The Reds down to their final strike. And that's in the dirt. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Man on second, two down. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Throw to first, ball game. And the Rockies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, a low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.